can't describe how something's been popped into my head and how I control that. It's basically, I have an idea and then you just do it straight away. And it's not, I don't sketch a lot. And, that's, and I think that people might find that quite strange about me. I'm not a, an avid sketcher, I never have been. I just want to put it straight down onto paper. It's not really in my head that I'm thinking what would be a sexy or a sexual image that, that interests me. It just happens that way. I don't know, I think women can, they act as better conductors of, of feelings. I find it difficult to draw men in a sense because they're not that expressive. Men really, men are just concerned with themselves, men just want to be men. But nudity says a lot about a lot of things, it is as open as that. You're showing a lot more by showing your body. And there's with body language as well. The more you show of yourself, the more, the more, the more, the more you communicate. I mean, I know I like violence. I like, I like violence, but not in a, not in a mindless way. It's just what's always interested me as a child. I mean, I grew up watching kung fu films and things like that, and it's just instilled in me. I think nowadays, you know, it kind of seen as being some sort of animal if you are violent, but it's a very human instinct to have. You can hold it down as much as you want to, you know, you can keep, you need a release somehow, and that's what I think my release is. Well, I think everything, I, everything that interests me is slow. I think if you're working in 2D anyway, it's going, it's going, it's going to be sort of, in a sense, slow. If I'm showing you violence, I've spent a long time deciding how to show how to show it. I mean, it's not as instant as if you watch a film, someone gets some limb cut off or something, you know, sliced or something. It's not as instant as that. I mean, with the drawing, you are rebuilding that scene. So I think that sort of takes the pace out of it anyway. It takes the reality out of it. Everything should take its time to seep into you. And I think that's more effective as a, as a piece of art. In a certain way, I, do, I, I wouldn't say it's cinematic. I wouldn't say my works are cinematic. I'd say they have an element of drama in them. But for a 2D piece to be successful, it has to emit the same sort of feeling as a film would. I mean, if you go back in time, drawings have been the bottom of the food chain because with drawing, painting took over painting and then photography. People thought, you know, the death of painting was when the camera was invented, but then the video camera and film was created as well. And film can capture things that a camera can't and vice versa. So, you know, with drawing being at the bottom of the food chain, it has to have all these other elements to make it success as successful as a film. It has to sort of even itself out, has to raise itself so it's on a level path. I look up to my Uncle Mountain a hell of a lot. You know, he's probably number one at who I, who I look up to. And people who know, who know me will know that. I mean, if you look at his work, I mean, there's not a lot about it, quite rare actually. But if you ever, if you ever come across them, you'll see that there is pure craft in what he does. He collects wood and carves flutes out of them that he plays to himself. I don't think there's anything more purer than that, more innocent. People who create things, well, they'll understand, you know, when, once there's a finished product, you feel, you feel something. You feel relieved in a way. I suppose it's quite a romantic notion, really, but you do feel as if you're doing something that's quite honest and, and you're not lying to anyone in a sense. And it's just you, just, you just feel in tune with humanity, I guess, when you, when you, are, when you are drawing. And it's quite a nice feeling. It's a very nice feeling. You can ask me about, you know, what are they about? But it's, it's because that it's so personal that I don't really want to talk about it, really. 
Not because I'm trying to fool anyone by saying there's no substance behind them. It's like a diary almost. A lot of artists that I know, even when they are explaining themselves, they're talking in loopholes and they're just going round and round the concept of what their art's about. And that's where I think there's a danger of losing all credibility. To make work that is completely honest with yourself, then you can do that. You can, everything else is easier.